everybody! Today we're going to learn about the life cycle of a butterfly. How exciting! And we're going to do it by doing a little bit of yoga and reading the story, The Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. Are you ready to get started? Come on! So first, what do you think a butterfly starts out as? Hmm. We once were all babies, right? I was once a baby, you were once a baby, and a butterfly, their beginning of their journey is an egg. So what we're gonna do with our bodies is we're going to practice being an egg with child's pose. So I'd like you to get on your mat or a soft surface, anything that works for you, and I'd like you to get on your knees and then sit on your feet and take your forehead to the mat. And now we are an egg. Egg pose, also known in yoga as child's pose. So let's breathe here for a minute. So right now, I'm a butterfly egg. And then after my journey of being an egg, maybe on a leaf or something, I am going to become pop, a caterpillar. So I want you to get in cobra pose. I want you to put your hands here, hover your feet and lift up your chest. So this is caterpillar. Your caterpillar could be here, it could be here, whatever is more comfortable to you. So we're going from an egg and comes next what a caterpillar good job and then what happens hmm i go from being an egg and then i'm a caterpillar what happens next hmm a cocoon so we're gonna go into downward dog and then we're gonna pop our feet or walk our feet to our hands and we're going to put our feet on our hands or we'll wrap our arms behind our legs and we're going to get really tight because we're covering our whole selves like we're in a cocoon. And then after a while of waiting in that cocoon, we become a butterfly. So the way we're gonna represent butterfly is with our legs, our feet are gonna touch each other like this. We can hold our feet and our wings out, are out like this. And this is butterfly pose. Wow, good job everybody. So let's practice that one more time and we're gonna practice that with the song if you're happy and you know it. So let's start with regular if you're happy and you know it. So let's sing. Do you know it? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Hmm. If you're happy and you know it, be an egg. Where is it? Where's your egg pose? Here we go, child's pose. If you're happy and you know it, be an egg. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, be an egg. If you're happy and you know it, be a caterpillar. If you're happy and you know it, be a caterpillar. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, be a caterpillar. Good job. Now after caterpillar comes what? If you're happy and you know it, be a cocoon. If you're happy and you know it, be a cocoon. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, be a cocoon. If you're happy and you know it, be a... What comes next? Butterfly. If you're happy and you know it, be a... Butterfly, if you're happy and you know it and you really want to 
show it if you're happy and you know it be a good job butterfly wow you did such good work give yourselves a pat on the back good job good job now i'd like you to put your hands on your belly and breathe in hold and slowly let out Good job. One more breath. Breathe in. Hold. And let it out slowly. Wow. So now that you know all of our butterfly poses, I want to read The Hungry, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Can you see the title of that book? The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Car Carl. Let's see, hmm, what does it say? The Very Hungry Caterpillar, again, right? By Eric Carl. And over here it says, In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. So what did you hear? Egg, an egg laid on a leaf. Let's go be an egg. So now I'd like you to stay in your egg pose. Your child's pose, your egg's pose. While I come over and read you the next part of the story. So just stay in egg pose, okay? Until I tell you to do something different, all right? So let's see what happens in the story. Stay in your egg pose, guys. So, wow. Let's see. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! <gasps> Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Wow. Pop came out and out caterpillar. So what are we gonna do? Caterpillar pose. So we were in our eggs, and maybe you started to do it already. And we're in our eggs and pop. Caterpillar pose. Good job. And remember, you can do it like this, or you can do it like this, however you're more comfortable. So, hmm, what's gonna happen next? Stay in caterpillar pose while I read you the next part. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Now in your caterpillar pose, I want you to take one bite with me into that apple. Three, two, one. Um, good job. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Now let's take two bites to represent those two pears. Chomp, chomp. Good job. Stay in caterpillar pose because we are still a hungry, hungry caterpillar. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Three chomps, chomp, chomp, chomp. Good job. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Four bites now, um, 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 um. Whoa, good job. Stay in caterpillar pose still. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. All right, five bites. Ump, 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 ump. Ooh, yummy, right? Whoa, I don't know, can we handle all of this? On Saturday, he ate through, 
eight through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, and one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, um, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh, I'd have a stomach ache too. Let's try eating all these things. It looks like how many things? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in your caterpillar pose, let's chomp ten times. Hump, 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 hump. Bite, 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 bite. Good job. Let's see what happens next. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. So here's his leaf, his normal food, right? Cause uh, I don't know, is this really caterpillar food? I don't know. So here's the leaf. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Wow. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and Oh, let's see what happens. So we're gonna go from caterpillar pose to cocoon pose. Let's see. So right now you all should still be in your caterpillar pose, right? And we eat, um, um, we ate so much, um, um, food. we're getting nice and big, nice and big, and we're getting inside a cocoon. So I'd like you to go inside your cocoon and think about what it's like for a caterpillar to be inside a cocoon. Let's see what happens next. Stay inside your cocoons, everybody. Oh my goodness. So after the cocoon, he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, who remembers what butterfly pose is? Let's see. Butterfly. Wow, good job. Give yourselves a pat on the back. We're doing so well with your yoga poses in that story, right? So who remembers the name of this story? It was The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. So do you think you can remember the stages of life of a butterfly? Hmm, who can tell me what happens first? Think about it. What I'd like you to do is write down what you think happens first. So if you have a paper or a pencil nearby, I want you to write down what you think happens first. Hmm. Did you write it down? Great. So let's think. Oh, yes, it's egg pose, right? So butterflies start out as little eggs and we're using our bodies to represent these eggs. What happens next? After egg comes pop, a caterpillar. Good job. And after a caterpillar comes cocoon. And after cocoon comes what? Yes, a beautiful butterfly. So flap your butterfly wings.
Good job, everybody. Now we're going to do the song, Fly Like a Butterfly. So who remembers their butterfly pose? So let's get in butterfly pose now, okay? This is butterfly pose. And we're gonna be doing multiple variations of this pose during the song, Fly Like a Butterfly. So get ready. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. And we're gonna stretch. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly up so high. like a butterfly. So I want you to take your hands and I want you to lace your thumbs like this because now your hands look like a butterfly. So I want you to breathe in and out with the flow of your butterfly. So let's take a nice deep breath. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Good job being a butterfly with me today. So let's think. What were those stages of the life cycle of a butterfly? First, we were an what? Let's see. Let's see what Eric Carl has to say. First, we started out as a little bitty egg. Then, after we were an egg, we became a caterpillar. Good job, like when we were in cobra pose. And boy, that caterpillar, he ate and ate and ate and ate so much, right? He ate a lot. And then he ate again. He ate his leaf. And he became a big, fat caterpillar. And then from being a caterpillar, he went into his cocoon. And then after the cocoon stays in there for more than two weeks and pop becomes a beautiful butterfly. So I'd like to say good job to everyone. And I hope you're having a wonderful day and try to remember these stages of life of a butterfly. And I'd like you to write them down. Hmm, what's first? What's next? Hmm. 
what's third, what's fourth? What are those stages? Write them down for me. Have a great day, everybody.